Hello. Recently, I went to the ELCA Youth Gathering in Houston, Texas. If you're Lutheran and you haven't gone and you can go, go. I highly recommend it. Okay, the gathering. We got to Houston, Texas after about a 22-hour bus ride with a few other churches, and that is an experience in itself. I don't take naps, but everyone else does. So they slept for most of the time we spent on the bus. And then we had a rest stop like once every four hours. And then... Mike, you know, <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Watch him run right by that. That's Chris Lexus. Exactly, get it. You swim. Lexus does nothing to improve the angle, but you know, I'm gonna We're gonna pretend it is. We're gonna pretend what I'm doing is actually helpful. <laughs> I didn't want to do this in the first place. <laughs> So once we got to Houston, we ate lunch, and then we headed to mass gathering. Spoiler alert, this happened every day. Mass gathering was the time every day that we had when all of the people who were attending the ELC youth gathering would come together and just worship? I don't know. It was fun. Once we got there, we were greeted by a DJ. We got onto the floor, but we were in the back, so it wasn't the best view, but we still had a good time. And so did the other 30,000 plus people who attended the youth gathering. Then it officially began. I would like to apologize for some of these next few videos being vertical. And that was an opening for a band. And now here's later on. And then we had mass gathering, we had speakers, and some more songs, and the day ended. And the next day, was interactive learning, where you had this huge space with a bunch of different tables with ways you can learn about different issues. It was a very fun time and it wasn't all just about learning about different issues, but there were things you could do just for fun, meet new people. And so here's the video I have from that. You <laughs> lost And that's all I have from that. Sorry. Okay, mass gathering. It was like actually a party. Also, there was this kind of like move, like dance thing that everyone did while we were there. <laughs> And if you didn't get it, don't worry. We do that a lot more on the next videos that I have from this. Then we had this guy perform, and when he did, people just flooded to him. <laughs> And then there was a head in the back. Yeah. 
then that ended and a house band came back. And if you didn't get the dance earlier, here's a shot of that. that little appearance, Sister T, and more of the DJ. did a lot of those common group dance things, didn't we? And the conga lines went a little wild. Anyways, and from here on out the videos will be horizontal. Then we got almost an entire stadium of people who won't stop believing. And the actual gathering started with some cool lights. And then some dancers performed. By the way, I'm skipping over much of what actually happened to just give you an essence of what we did, what happened. Okay, then we pulled out the phone lights, which actually happened a lot while we were there. And then we had a really touching moment where for some reason we did the wave. came out again. And there were some really good speakers there as well. You can find their talks on the ELCA YouTube channel. And then the people got creative by, well, you'll see. They used their water bottles to color the lights. That's pretty creative. That was all during this performance. And then it was the next day. Synod day. I don't have any videos of this because I was in the Synod day band and I was also one of the leaders. So I couldn't really record while I was doing that.
but here are some pictures. Later that day, we had mass gathering, again, where the opening performer was Agape. And Rachel Kurtz performed, and they actually ended up performing together at some point. And then the house band went on. They played some really nice songs. And then, this happened. DJ came back with some music and we all sang again. Then that light show again. And then the water bottle lights appeared again. <laughs> then mass gathering ended. And here's where I recorded some of the 30,000 plus people walking out of NRG Stadium. <laughs> My friends and I had a little fun of our own. When I say ye, you say ha. Ye, ha, ye, ha. And yes, that person who was yelling at the end was me. The next day and last full day there, was service day. I don't have videos of us actually doing our service, but I do have videos of parts of the party afterwards. Yes. There was dancing, games, and arts and crafts in this big room, but there was a lot more. My friends and I even got to participate in a Christian wash pit. Once again, Agape. Also, Rachel Kurtz performed, but it's way too long, so I'm not putting it in the video. Then it was our last day of mass gathering, where the conga lines and group dance things were in full bloom. So I apologize for the leaf blower going on in the background that you might be able to hear. And, of course, we sang again. That's beautiful. Hey, you guys know it. Sing it up.
Chiefs. And then it got serious. Everyone sent a text of hope to someone they felt needed it. Once you did that, you put up your phone flashlight, and the stadium glowed. The people who spoke that last night got everyone to participate in a wave of hope. Set. Go! We all went back to our hotels for the last time, and then it was Sunday, the last day. Our activity for Sunday was just normal, well, normal worship. We still did those dances though. Then there was communion. Which was somewhat of a mess. But what do you expect? You're serving communion to over 30,000 people. And the last thing they did was announce the next youth gathering would take place in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, they also released a lot of beach balls. <laughs> loaded our buses and headed home which for us took 22 hours roughly on a coach bus i got to sleep on the floor but i still had a good time and that was the elca youth gathering at least for me mostly i'll say it once again if you are lutheran and you want to go and you have the opportunity to go i highly recommend it it is definitely something that if i could do again i would but i won't be youth next time it happens so I'll leave it up to the next generation of people going to the youth gathering anyways be good if you can't be good be safe if you can't be safe don't get caught have a good day